All right, let's head over to New Orleans now and talk American Athletic Conference because Tulane is a team to watch this season. I think they're going to repeat as conference champs this year. This team is really stinking good. They're 2-1, and one, lone loss to number 20 Ole Miss in a very competitive game. Like, there were points scored in the fourth quarter. I think Ole Miss scored like 20 points or maybe 17 points, something like that, in the fourth quarter there to make this score look a little bit more respectable for them so people who didn't watch the game or tune into it are like, oh, okay, they won by 17. Yeah, good win. No, wasn't really like that. It was 20-17 to 17 going into the fourth, and then Tulane had a turnover on downs deep in Ole Miss territory. They could have kicked a field goal, but I guess they don't have a good kicker, or they were just being aggressive. And then they had a fumble return for a touchdown. That was seven for Ole Miss. And then they had a fourth down touchdown they gave up. So Ole Miss scored on that as well. It was like a fourth and four, which swung the game. They get a stop there. Who knows what happens? On top of that, Michael Pratt, Tulane star quarterback, he didn't even play in this game. It was Kai Horton. And Horton played the last game as well against Southern Miss. So we haven't seen Michael Pratt since the season opener. And what an opener it was. Guy was a second-team preseason All-AAC quarterback, and with good reason. I've seen this guy play for a couple of years now. He's an NFL quarterback, I think. Like, he came in as a freshman and immediately changed the narrative on this team. Like, in 2020, I was sitting in my dorm room at school, and I'm telling everybody that'll listen to me, hey, watch out for Tulane, man. They got a pretty good football team down there. And, well, they have the past couple of years. Really good the past two years. When you beat USC in a bowl game with Caleb Williams, the Heisman Trophy winner, Pretty good football team, obviously. So here's the deal. Pratt played in the season opener against South Alabama, and they won 37-17. And that score is looking really good because if you weren't paying attention last weekend, the Jaguars there, they went to Stillwater where Oklahoma State plays and wiped the floor with them. 33-7, South Alabama beat Oklahoma State. I'll say it again. South Alabama 33, Oklahoma State 7 in Stillwater, where the Cowboys play. Like, some people at Oklahoma State, I had Oklahoma State winning eight or nine games this year. Some people had them winning the Big 12. How does that happen? So, that win's looking really good. And in that win against South Alabama for Tulane, Pratt was near perfect. 14 of 15 passing for 294 yards, four touchdowns, those passing touchdowns to three different receivers. Like, what a game. I think if you play that Ole Miss game over again, maybe Tulane wins it, and they're 3-0 and right now, not 2-1. and So this is a really good football team. They beat Southern Miss 2, 21-3 again with the backup quarterback. Like, they're dominating on teams without being at full strength. So I can't even imagine what they're going to do when Pratt comes back. And if you've not heard the news already, Tulane fans, Pratt is back this weekend. Back from that knee injury. Missed the last two games. He'll play against Nichols State this weekend in what I think is their final non-conference matchup. As far as conference play goes, your toughest games, I think you got really only two of them. Now, you know, East Carolina's solid. Rice has shown that they're pretty good. Like, the AAC is no slouch, but in terms of, like, difficult games where I don't know if you pull out a win, these are the two that I was looking at. You got Memphis on October 13th, but you're coming off a bye week. It's on a Friday. Memphis also off a bye week, but that's on the road. So always tough to play there against those guys. And then your final regular season game is against Texas San Antonio, which is a really solid program. They've racked up a lot of wins the past few years. Off to a tough start this year, though. One and two. They lost to Houston, so that's a conference game they've already recorded an L in, so I guess you have the upper hand on them right now, and if you go undefeated the rest of the way, you win the regular season, obviously. Um, and then Army, they lost to as well. That was a bit of a head-scratcher for me. I was like, what are we doing? Army? Seriously? So, UTSA, not not off to the hottest start, and that's your regular season finale there, and it's at home. That place is going to be bumping. And that could be for the conference regular season championship right there. So, a lot of hype around that game. Love the offense. Pratt, the run game's good. Nice quartet trio of receivers that step up every game. And this defense, we got to talk about the defense. I'm not leaving the defense out because you cannot leave this defense out. This defense is really good, really underrated in my opinion. That D-line, for an AAC team, I think could stack up with Big Ten and SEC defensive lines. Like, 
They held Ole Miss to 89 rush yards, two and a half per carry. Quinshawn Judkins, that's a popular name in college football. He's an All-American running back. Yeah, he ran 18 times for 48 yards against Tulane. That's two and a half, 2.7 per carry. That's not All-American numbers. You're doing things that SEC defensive lines can't do. There are teams last year, LSU, I mean, that could not stop Quinshawn Judkins. So that D-line's great. The linebackers are solid. And Ole Miss is the only team to pass for more than 200 yards, 267 at that. And that was with Jackson Dart. And they're a predominantly passing team anyway. South Alabama, Southern Miss, they didn't get over 200. So you're stopping the run and you're stopping the pass against some good teams too. Like, what is there not to like about Tulane winning the AAC again? I mean, the, all this conference realignment stuff, maybe the ACC should drop that A from the AAC and bring Tulane into the ACC. Maybe the Big Ten should give them a call. Like, this is a good team. This is a good program. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't lose again this season. So watch out for Tulane. If you're asking me, you're putting me on the spot. I guess I put myself on the spot because I'm the only one here. This team's winning the conference. And I don't think they're going to lose again the rest of the season. So we'll see how that plays out. But I'm very confident in that prediction. So... Roll on, Green Wave. They've got Nichols this weekend, and I don't think they're picking up another L the rest of the year.